Malware. Malware is like a digital infestation that sneaks into your computer without asking for permission. The word malware covers any malicious software designed to harm or exploit devices, networks, or people. This includes viruses, worms, trojans, and more. Sometimes it arrives hidden in a file you downloaded from a sketchy website, or it might slip in through an email link that claimed you won a free cruise. Once installed, malware can steal personal data, track your activities, or even lock you out of your own computer. Phishing. Phishing is like someone sending you a postcard from your bank saying, Hi, it's your bank. Please mail us your credit card info and social security number ASAP. We're legit. Promise. In reality, it's cyber criminals impersonating trusted entities like banks, social media platforms, or streaming services to trick you into giving up personal information. You might get an urgent email claiming there's a problem with your account with a link to fix it. Click the link and you're taken to a fake website that looks almost identical to the real deal, except your login info info goes straight to the bad guys. Ransomware. Ransomware is a nastier cousin of regular malware. Imagine coming home to find someone's changed the locks and they've left a note saying, pay us or you'll never see your living room again. That's basically ransomware in a nutshell. It encrypts your files, locking you out until you pay a ransom, usually an untraceable cryptocurrency. Even if you do pay, there's no guarantee you'll get your files back. Cyber criminals aren't exactly famous for keeping promises. Social engineering. Social engineering is about hacking people rather than computers. Instead of trying to bust through complex security systems, attackers trick you into opening the door for them. Imagine someone calls pretending to be from tech support, asking for your password to fix your computer. Or they might impersonate a coworker on a messaging app, requesting urgent help. Because you trust what seems like a friendly face or an authority figure, you hand over info you normally wouldn't. This can give criminals access to your email, financial accounts, or workplace systems. Distributed Denial of Service, or DDoS. A DDoS attack is like the world's worst traffic jam, except on a website or network. Attackers flood a target with an enormous volume of fake requests, so legitimate visitors can't get through. It's similar to hundreds of people shouting in a phone line at once, making it impossible for the real caller to be heard. Victims are often businesses, online gaming services, or news outlets. Sometimes attackers do this just for kicks. Other times, they demand money to stop. Large networks of infected computers called botnets coordinate these attacks. If your machine becomes part of a botnet, you might not even know you're contributing to a DDoS. SQL injection. SQL injection is a fancy term for tricking a website's database into spilling its secrets. Imagine convincing a friendly librarian to hand over everyone's personal records because you typed something sneaky on the request form. When you fill out forms on a website, like for logging in or searching, your input should be harmless text. But with SQL injection, a cyber criminal types malicious code that confuses the database into returning data it should or even letting them change what's stored. This can expose usernames, passwords, addresses, anything tucked away in the site's backend. Trojan horses. A Trojan horse in cyberspace is just like the Trojan horse of ancient lore. It pretends to be something good or at least harmless, but has a sneaky attack hidden inside. You might download a file claiming to be a new game, but in reality, it's a piece of malware that opens a back door on your computer. Once inside, this Trojan can steal data, modify settings, or install additional malware. It's basically the digital equivalent of discovering you invited a friend over for dinner, only for them to bring along 10 uninvited guests who ransack your house. Keyloggers. Keylog Loggers are the digital spy lurking behind your keyboard, recording every word or password you type. This can be software hidden in your operating system, or even a physical device secretly attached between your keyboard and computer, though that's less common at home and more James Bondish. The software-based kind often arrives bundled with other malware. Once installed, it sends your typed info, like credit card numbers, email logins, and chat messages, to criminals. You might not notice anything unusual. The keylogger is designed to stay invisible. Man-in-the-middle attacks. A man-in-the-middle attack is where a criminal slips into the conversation between you and the internet. Imagine telling your friend a secret while someone stands right behind you, listening or even altering your message before it reaches your friend. This often happens on unsecured Wi-Fi networks, like those at your favorite coffee shop, if the network isn't encrypted, or you visit HTTP sites instead of HTTPS. Attackers intercept the traffic, collecting sensitive info, login details, credit card numbers, or personal messages. They might even modify the data in transit. Cryptojacking. Cryptojacking is when cyber criminals hijack your computer's processing power to mine cryptocurrency. You might be peacefully browsing kitten videos while your device overheats, slowed down by secret mining tasks. Essentially, criminals embed malicious scripts into websites or software, which run in the background on your machine. Using your resources to generate digital coins, you pay the electricity bill, your laptop gets louder than a jet engine, and the hackers collect the rewards. If you notice sudden performance drops, fans spinning wildly, or your battery 
draining at record speed, you could be a victim of cryptojacking. Identity theft. Identity theft is the grand heist of your personal details. Instead of snatching your wallet, criminals steal your name, address, social security number, or financial details to open credit cards or take out loans in your name. You'll discover the ugly truth when you see strange charges on your bank statement, or you get a call about a loan you never applied for. Zero-day exploits. A zero-day exploit is the fancy way of saying, there's a new security hole and the vendor has zero days to fix it before bad guys start using it. It's a vulnerability discovered by attackers before software makers know about it, giving them a head start to break in. Once the exploit is out in the wild, cyber criminals can target anyone running the affected program. These are dangerous because even the best security software may not protect you if there's no patch available yet. Big companies like Microsoft, Apple, and Google race to release updates, but sometimes the damage is done first. Spyware. Spyware is malware that quietly gathers information about you, like your browsing history, login details, or chats, then sends it to a third party. Unlike ransomware, which shouts pay up in your face, spyware tries to remain invisible. It often comes bundled with free programs or sneaks in via malicious websites. Once installed, it can track your habits, target you with pop-up ads, or collect your personal data for identity theft. Some spyware even has the ability to record conversations through your microphone or snap photos via your webcam. Password attack. Password attacks range from guessing your password to sophisticated cracking with powerful computers. Some attackers try brute force, automatically trying every combination under the sun, while others might steal password databases from websites. If you recycle the same password across multiple sites, once criminals have it, they can try it everywhere. This is why experts keep telling us to use strong, unique passwords. Adware. Adware is annoying software that floods your screen with pop-up advertisements. Although some adware is merely a way for free software to make money, malicious versions track your browsing habits and can redirect your searches to shady websites. It slows down your browser, takes up bandwidth, and might lead you to questionable sites where more serious malware awaits. It's like having a pushy salesman constantly knocking on your door, even when you just want peace and quiet. Deepfakes. Deepfakes are videos or images manipulated by artificial intelligence to convincingly show someone doing or saying things they never actually did. While some uses are harmless or comedic, criminals can exploit them for fraud, blackmail, or spreading misinformation. Imagine receiving a video call from your boss telling you to transfer company funds to a sketchy account, only it's not your boss, but a deepfake. DNS spoofing. DNS spoofing is like someone rearranging street signs so you think you're going to your bank site, but you actually land on a malicious copy. The domain name system, DNS, translates website names into IP addresses. Attackers tamper with DNS records, directing you to the wrong address. If you log in, they capture your credentials. It's fairly elaborate and often targets big networks or internet service providers, but individual users can get caught in the crossfire. Steganography. Steganography hides malicious content inside seemingly harmless files, like embedding attack commands in an innocent vacation photo. When you open the image, you just see your friend's sunny beach pic. Unaware, there's hidden code lurking. Attackers use steganography to sneak malware past email filters or anti-malware scanners. For the average user, it's tough to detect these hidden stowaways, so you rely on your security software to do the heavy lifting. If you receive unsolicited images or documents from unknown sources, think twice before opening them. Worms. Worms are malware that replicate themselves across networks without needing you to click anything once they get inside. They wiggle from one device to another, exploiting security holes or using shared folders. One infected computer in an office can lead to a full-blown outbreak by lunch time, making worms extra dangerous. They often slow down networks, overload systems, and sometimes carry payloads that delete files or install backdoors.